Did you know that electric car sales have skyrocketed by 25% in 2024 compared to last year? Meanwhile, petrol car sales have dipped by 0.7%, a change that might seem minor now, but studies from Bloomberg in 2023 suggest we could see a staggering decrease of 60 to 70% by 2030. EV cars are way better for the environment than gas powered cars, and they're also packed with tech features. Plus, one of the things that makes electric cars so special is their self driving capabilities. You can just sit back and relax while your car takes you where you need to go. They also get regular software updates over the air. However, I still prefer a physical knob for climate control. Electric cars even offer lower operating and maintenance costs compared to gas cars, leading to significant economic advantages for consumers. So what's the catch? High upfront cost, limited range and lack of charging infrastructure hinder electric car adoption. For argument's sake, what really would happen if we never stopped producing gas guzzling supercharged V8 engines? The amount of carbon we'd be pumping into the air would make climate change even worse, leading to rising sea levels, crazy weather disasters, and all kinds of animals and plants disappearing. On top of that, we'd be running out of fossil fuels, which would cause economic and political problems. Last but not least, did we forget about rising fuel prices? We saw a rise of 86% in 8 years. Maybe in future you might have to take a loan to fill your supercar. Then, on the other hand, battery technology is only getting better and better in EV cars, with several different models boasting ranges over 500 miles on a single charge. Compared to 2023, there are 55% more fast charging stations in 2024. Now, I bet most of you think that EVs only take energy, but say hello to Nissan Leaf. It not only charges itself, but can also discharge some energy to power other businesses or a home even. Nissan calls it a V2G vehicle to grid. Leaf is equipped with a DC charging port. This allows for the two-way flow of electricity. When connected, Leaf can feed surplus energy back into the main power grid. It's not perfect, but it's a step in the right direction, safe to say. In 2021, GM announced that they will go all electric by 2035. They will be fully electric and they plan to be there at least by 2035. That demonstrates trust in electric cars of the future. In fact, Audi, Mercedes, Bentley and even Rolls Royce will switch to all electric by the next 10 years. Now, I'm not going to bore you by telling you how bad gas cars are for the environment. Nobody cares, but people at the top do. They want more fuel efficiency and cars that leave less carbon footprint, hence why we are not going to see any new V8 in the next five years. They are even making battery-powered Dodge, a name synonymous with a big V8 car producing gazillion horsepower. Here is something for people who think EV cars are nothing but boxes of batteries that can go from point A to point B. Electric race cars are the future of motorsport. They're faster, cleaner, and more exciting than traditional gas-powered cars. In 2014, Formula E was introduced, and it's quickly catching up to Formula One. With instant torque and a low center of gravity, electric race cars will soon surpass F1 cars. They are not only fun to watch, but also good for the environment. The shift towards electric vehicles is real, and it's happening fast. In the next 10 years, there won't be new petrol cars. I believe 100% new car sales will be EV car sales. That's a staggering prediction, but it's not hard to see why. With technology advancing at breakneck speed, prices plummeting, and governments offering enticing incentives, the advantages of electric cars are becoming harder to ignore. The question is no longer if electric cars will overtake gasoline vehicles, but when? So, what do you think? Are electric cars the future of autos? Or is there still a place for traditional gasoline vehicles? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve on the future of transportation, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon to turn on notifications.